to at one point in time. So I'm pull the pan off of this 302. We'll show you how important it is to inspect. You need to pull the oil pan off and look for any metal. Take it out and you pull this out. There was pieces of this. You wouldn't have known that and this thing wouldn't have lasted much longer even though it was running and driving. So I tried to make this video before talking about whether you should replace or rebuild your engine. I kind of got off on a lot of stuff that was not relevant to the conversation. So unless you have a numbers matching GTX or some type of a movie car, special drag car with a lot of history that someone important drove. It doesn't really matter if you replace or rebuild your engine. I would say just find a Ford specifically, just find a 302 to put in it. Or if it's a Chevrolet, a 350, or even, you know, if you don't really want or care about any performance, a 305, 318 for a Dodge, or Chrysler products. You're gonna end up spending more money than the car is worth. For example, my car is a four-door 65 Fairlane and I know I've heard a bunch of people talk about a 65 Fairlane being rare I see them all the time for sale so I don't really know how rare they are I mean they're more rare than a G body I guess that engine being in that car doesn't matter I'm gonna dress that 302 to look like a 289 and you really won't be able to tell the difference unless you really look at it. Larry, for example, the 302 that he's putting in, his Torino, his Torino, it's a nice car, but it's not like a super Cobra jet Torino that, you know, someone raced and won a lot of races with or something like that. So who gives a what kind of engine is in it? As long as you keep it forward, that's kind of my thing too. You know, LS swap and all that, it's all cool and everything, but the old Ford stuff, funny. It's weird having that in there. But we're headed to Larry's right now. And he pulled the pan off of this 302. And we'll show you how important it is to inspect an engine before you put it in. If you end up buying an engine, which he already had this one, but the same the same thing kind of applies. So Larry got a surprise when he took this 302 apart. You can see it is actually a 306. It's already been, went through at one point in time. So at minimum, you need to pull the oil pan off and look for any metal. Take it out in the sun, move it from side to side, see if it, make sure it doesn't look like a bass boat in the oil, which is would be metal in the oil. When Larry pulled this out, there was pieces of piston in the oil. So, look here. See that? That piston skirt is broken off into pieces. It was this one and one other one. If he didn't pull the pan, he wouldn't have known that, and this thing wouldn't have lasted much longer, even though it was running and driving just fine before it caught on fire. So how long, Larry, has this been sitting with the vinegar it's, on it? Uh, 24 hours. So you just put the vinegar on the one to get that piston out that was damaged. Yeah, so okay. this is the second. So that's the second. This that is the worst too? piston. Yeah. That's the worst one? This is the oh, worst Oh, that one. was stuck the worst? Yeah. Okay. It had the most rust in it. All right. Will you vacuum it out right there? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got some fancy stuff. Hey, it was we told it away in my old job. Oh, I see. So, yeah, like all that rust is gone. Oh, yeah, that wiped out. Uh, I'll put a before and after in here of that because I got that picture you sent me. Yeah, so that's uh wow, that looks way better. I was shocked when I got it open yesterday. 
Now, if you have the skill, it would be best for you to replace all of the gaskets about, what are we talking, a $100 gasket set for a little peace of mind, maybe even a water pump. And don't order any parts as far as rings, pistons, or bearings until you have it apart and see what size you need. When Larry took his engine apart, it was 30 thousandths over already, and we didn't know that. And on my engine, this main bearing, it was 10 thousandths under. And I didn't know that, and I wouldn't have known that. And if I would have already ordered all of the parts, then I would have been just wasting money. See you next time.